We've got a two-year-old border collie that we have sent a little over a half a quarter to gather up 15 head of heifers with a bull. And uh, we have trained the dog to go at least a quarter and outrun either right or left and cover the stock, stay behind the stock and bring the stock to me. He will lay down and get up on a whistle and uh, handle the stock. You can see he's handling the stock real nice here. I'm not, I'm not telling the dog anything to do. I'm just letting him work on his own. And we're gonna bring the dog up here and or the cattle up here and let the, uh, run the dog through his paces a little bit. Take him down the fence there and put him in a pen. Take him out of that pen and put him in another pen. Just kind of letting the dog work and let Jerry and Karen watch the dog work and see how I handle the dog. I've got another dog sitting up there in the truck that uh, hopefully he'll stay there while we're working Joe. I asked him to get in the truck and he's doing a pretty good job of staying there so far. I believe he'll be there when we get through. But uh... Sit down. Sit down. Here. Push, push, shh, here. Shh, shh. This is Come here, Joe. Come here, Joe. This is something we don't do, but. Here. Sit down. Bye. Bye. Shh. Bye. Mm. Lord, I'm glad he had to do that, not me. I don't think I could handle that as good as he did. But, uh, yeah, we don't, we haven't driven very much with the dog. He can be trained to do that, but we've concentrated on training the dog to fetch the livestock to us. But uh, we'll demonstrate you in a little bit more about the driving thing. We're just letting the dog bring the stock back to us and, and uh, we're gonna put them in another pen. This is a nice set of heifers that I put together and, and uh, Let's go. put a bull with them. Should be calving out sometime in December, November, December. If you, come here, Joe. If you want the dog, you know, to be sure the, you, you can call him to you like this and, and drive with him if you want to. We, well, that's something we haven't done know. very much of, is drive, drive with the dog. Get up. And we just... Sit down. I just really don't see a lot of need in driving with the dog if, he, if I don't have to. If the dog can handle the livestock, then I don't need to be back there. I mean, that's his job. That's the reason I've got him, is to do the job for me. And I don't need to be back there. Let him take care of his job and he's capable of doing it, so I'm gonna go where I wanna go and, and let him bring them to me. Bye. Joe, bye. Like I say, bye. he doesn't know his flight commands exactly, but we get the job done anyway. Sit down, Joe. I'm gonna put the cattle Where? up and put the cattle up in that Where? corner. 
Sit down. And flank Joe up in there and up in the corner and let him bring them out. Bye. Bye. Uh oh, sure enough he did. By golly, just he didn't uh, didn't have to get a hold of a nose there to get it done, but he went in the corner. He would have if he if he needed to. Here, Joe. Here. Here. Bye. Joe. Bye. Oh, okay. I got it. Sit down. Well, yeah. Joe's just uh like I say, he's not absolute on his flight commands, but uh, he's, uh, he's certainly a great using dog and loves to work and loves to do a lot of it. Coming out. Jerry and Karen watching me work this dog and running through his paces. I've trained this dog for, for Jerry and I'm sure he's uh, going to get a lot of use out of him. He's a nice dog. Loves to work. There were dogs headed back out to turn the stock back around to us again. He won't let them leave. He's going to make sure that they stay right there where we are. He's not going to let them run off for sure. We're going to demonstrate here how you have to handle the dog to make him, how you teach the dog to drive away. We, we, go, away, oh. away. Ah, uh, uh, sit down. You got to call here. him back to you. We're here. We, go, away, we, sit down. Oh, up. okay, I got it now. Okay, down. okay. Up. It takes up. It takes a lot of practice with the dog to get, and once you've trained him to get on the back side. Bye. Bye. You're going to go out there and bring them back to us again? I think one of them heifers is going to try to run off, but I don't think he's going to let him or let her. So get back up here where you belong. Well, he's going to bring the stock back to us again, and that driving thing, that's just something you have to train the dog to do, just like you do to get him to stop. fetch to you. That's the stop whistle. That'll do. Well, we hope, uh, we hope you enjoyed watching the video here. We thank you very much, and we hope you enjoyed it.